Hey guys, it's Courtney, and this is the story of us moving to Paris. So after three months of being here, it's only now that I'm actually feeling comfortable enough to do a vlog and to talk to you guys and share our experiences and my experiences um, in everyday life. But up until now, it's it's been a struggle and it, I think it's still going to be a struggle in all honesty. Um, I don't think moving countries is supposed to be easy, otherwise everyone would do it. Um, yeah, but I mean, we're in it for the long haul and hopefully, you know, this helps at least one person who is thinking of doing a similar thing. So basically, we are two South Africans and we decided about a year ago that we wanted to move countries. Um, not going to go into too many political reasons, <laughs> but basically um, we decided originally on Canada and after Habi applied to a job, one of his dream jobs online, um, the destination happened to be Paris. So we just thought, why not? Let's give it a shot. Not thinking actually anything would come of it. And lo and behold, a year later, here we are. So Habi is a artist in the gaming industry. And basically this relates to the type of visa that he would apply for. So he applied for what they call a talent passport visa, which is something new. I think it's within the last two to three years that they've implemented this, they being the French. Um, so as a talent or an artist, you can apply for a specific visa that also allows your family to accompany you or join you in France for the duration of your contract and it also allows your family member to or your spouse to work without having to apply for a working visa or have a job offer in in France which is the standard so the visa for um, France South Africa the long stay visa um, it's actually pretty quick I think it took me five days and I think he also got about five days wait for them to stamp everything and make everything official but even a visitor's visa is like three days you apply three days there they tell you to come fetch your passport so the south african french relationship is actually pretty good and i think that's why a lot of south africans end up in france so the area that we live in is really really cool um it's just outside of paris like if, if this this is paris it's over here on the map um but yeah so essentially right below us below us next to us which is a bakery and then next to that we have a butcher and then we have a fruit guy that's a tiny bit creepy and opposite that we have a supermarket and then we have the post office we have 10 minute walk from us is the metro having metro access is amazing so if you're moving here and you're looking for an apartment make sure that it is within metro access top tip for you today so language is quite a struggle um basically whenever you go into a store you need to have some level of conversation so in france it's pretty common to when you enter a store you greet so obviously not everyone um but like if there's a security guy or there's a teller close by or something you walk in you just look in their general direction if they look at you you greet manners so when you get to the cashier if you're not using the self checkout um, you need to ask for a packet if you don't have a packet um, but the supermarkets are generally like you can navigate it's it's pretty okay you don't really have to engage in a high level of functioning French in order to get through the shop I would say at the moment for us the only um, downfall that we're struggling with or at least I'm struggling with on a daily basis is the language barrier so obviously I'm native English speaker, my second language is Afrikaans, so French does not necessarily come easily, even though in English there's a lot of words that we borrowed from the French, um, like fiancé, that's the only example I can think of right now. Um, there is obviously a rewarding uh, stage that you work into when you do start learning the language. Um, I'm kind of entering that stage now where I can understand 15% of what someone is saying which doesn't sound like a lot but at least you don't stand there completely clueless like uh... but if you are going to a boulangerie for instance uh, 
you need to know what you're asking for. So a lot of the time, it's a matter of you walk in, you stand to the side, you look around, kind of decide what you think you want because everything's in French, you don't actually know what each thing is. Obviously baguette is baguette, we know what that is. Um, but there are different types of baguettes and you want to pick something out so you just end up pointing at like kind of what you want but because the counter where you're standing and where the bread is is so far away you kind of point and then they they think you're pointing at one thing so they go and grab that and then you have to be like no no it's it's that one next to the other one that you were holding um, so sometimes you just get the wrong bread and you go with it and you're just thankful that you have bread for the day so if you are interested in moving countries um, especially if you're from South Africa and you want to move to France then pop some comments below and let me know what your questions are maybe I can assist otherwise I will address things in upcoming videos uh, this is just to give you guys a general overview a first little introduction of us